Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. I'm Peter Drury and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. We've just been given. games of this nature, who can make the difference? Alvaro Negredo for me, to start with we'll be watching a, a very proficient goal scorer, all backed up with muscle and power, and he's a great foil for a, a quicker partner to link up with and, and feed off. Well, quite no argument for me on that one. And it's Manny, well positioned to make that interception. Tries a through ball. Can he finish? And it's a goal! Valencia are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's their clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. Valencia take the early advantage. Now the pass. Negredo. There's no flag. Negredo with a beautifully timed run. Valencia oh, very much in charge here, dominating possession and a goal to the good. Away from immediate danger. Parejo passes it through. No surprise at all that this is the guy who's had such a positive impact. Well, not only can a player of such high calibre show the imagination to set up a goal, but he can also produce when the pressure's on to deliver a big moment. This guy was born to create. So, they got the only goal to make it 1-0. Nani. Negredo. Looks like a good ball through. Nani. It's a brilliant interception. Valencia desperately needs someone to hold up the ball here. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Negredo, Javi Fuego, we hit 
half time. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. Valencia leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments and it's 1 0 at the break. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Valencia going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. A real chance to break. Javi Fuego. The Grado has a goal! Brilliant from the Grano! And with that goal comes comfort! The movement so precise, the finish sumptuous. Look, if you want to be effective on the break, then the key element is always pace. That's what really rips the fences apart, and it's difficult to find an answer to it when it's applied like that. Valencia get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. It's exactly the start to this second half they would have hoped for. They can build on that morale boost and confidence and, and finish the contest by really taking the game to the opposition now. Valencia need to make a change here. So what now? Fine defending there. Javi Fuego. Good run through the middle, but he needs support. Whistle's gone, that for offside? Yes, it is. Referee's given a throw. Oh, he's come up against the brick wall there. Just a quarter of an hour to play. Another piece of really good defending. Negredo. Fine defending there. Valencia have time on their side now, as well as a two-goal lead. It is just about done. Fine defending there. Another piece of really good defending. It's a good run down the left-hand side. And that's it. So they have their win. They had all the answers to whatever the opposition threw at them. And the result followed inevitably. Your reflections then, Jim. I think when we look back at that, the, the early goal proved so decisive. I think scoring when they did just gave them that element of control and confidence. And that proved key. That's it for tonight's match.